Hello everybody, my name is Edson and welcome back to the fourth of five E3 prediction videos. Uh, the last three were EA, Bethesda and Ubisoft. Make sure you go and check them out if you missed them. Uh, this one we're going to be covering everything Microsoft and Xbox and being a Microsoft and Xbox fanboy more so than Sony and PlayStation. This is the one I'm extremely looking forward to, especially seeing as in Sony and PlayStation don't look like they're attending this year. Well, they've announced that they're not attending. Uh, we are going to be doing a video on that as the next video is the fifth and final video, so make sure you check that out tomorrow. But today, it's all about Microsoft and Xbox, and we're going to lead off with the big, massive news of the new console. This is obviously the reason why a lot of people are saying Sony and PlayStation aren't attending because they haven't got their console ready. But it's rumoured, and it's pretty much guaranteed, that Microsoft and Xbox are going to show off the new console, which is Project uh, Scarlet, that's the code name for it. Obviously, this isn't going to be the name, it's not going to be called Xbox Scarlet. Uh, it's just like they give every console a code name until it actually gets released. I have a sneaking suspicion it's actually just going to, they're going to go back to roots and just call it Xbox and just call it the, like, just Xbox. I, I see that that's going to be a thing and they haven't really got like a shortened version of it. They can't really call it like stuff like Xbox Infinite, Xbox 720, all of this stupid stuff. They just, just go back to Roots, just call it Xbox. I, I think that's what they probably do. You have that that's going to get talked about. I don't think it's going to release for a bit, probably next year, probably in the summer maybe, who knows. But there's a lot of spec rumours flying around. I'm not really going to cover them. It will get talked about in the conference. Expect news on the next Xbox uh, and what's going to happen with that and how it's going to look, how it's going to feel, how they're going to approach the strategy of it because they are also announcing the Xbox One S All Digital Edition. So that'll be a discless console. It's literally just going to be sort of like a mini computer sort of thing. Um, it's going to have all of the Xbox functions, but it's, you're not going to have any discs. Everything's going to be online. Everything's going to be digital. Maybe they're doing this. Um, and I predict that they're doing this to further push the Microsoft's new game streaming service, which is called xCloud. So they're going to probably team more news into that. Uh, how this will link back to the new console as well, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's going to be the first all digital console. I highly doubt it, but they're probably going to push more and more digital and less and less disc. So it's going to be interesting to see what they announce with the Xbox One S all digital, uh, the X Cloud stuff, and also the new Xbox and whether that sort of takes a takes an effect with that as well. I'm unsure, but I'm looking forward to all of the announcements that they make because new consoles, man, it's hype. Following that, you'll probably have some Xbox Game Pass subscription updates and news. They'll probably announce a, a massive amount of games that are coming in the future to the Game Pass for free and all of that good stuff. So expect more of that. A lot of old Xbox 360 uh, games that they've managed to get licenses for and give out to you guys for free. That's good, that's great. Uh, both Sony and Play uh, Sony PlayStation and, and Microsoft and Xbox have, have been doing that. And honestly, it's, it's a great move by them to get people to uh, to to move to those consoles. Um, so yeah, props to them. So expect more news for that. Uh, and now let's get on to the games. Consoles, lots of console news, but they've got games to announce. Uh, so with the new Xbox, you've got Gears 5 already been announced and I expect a full multiplayer uh, trailer slash gameplay reveal, which obviously I imagine may even be teamed with the new Xbox, uh, a launch deal type thing. We don't know when the new Xbox is going to be, but I could see that possibly being a thing. You've got Gears Tactics, which is a turn-based strategy. Expect more news around that, but I imagine they'll probably do that before they talk about Gears 5 and show the multiplayer. Um, and then you have the greatly anticipated Halo Master Chief Collection for PC and also Halo Infinite the new Halo game coming to PC and Xbox. Holy crap, finally Halo on PC! I can't wait. I honestly can't wait. Halo has been needed to be on PC for so long and there's so many people that have been screaming for it. There's hacked versions of the games uh, of the games that run on the PC and people have been playing them and loving them and it's like, just make us a game for the PC and they're finally doing it, I'm so happy. So expect news for that, expect uh, trailers, expect announcements, expect dates, expect everything because there's no way they don't uh, announce and show us all of that good stuff uh, because they really need to smash this one out of the park. And then last year, one of the big announcements was Battletoads. Uh, they released a short trailer 
so expect a most likely a full gameplay trailer because it's going to get released this year. Uh, Battletoads, one that a lot of people weren't really expecting, <laughs> a new Battletoads uh, installment for the franchise, but we'll have a gameplay trailer most likely during this conference and expect people to be hyped for it because a lot of people were hyped when they announced it last year. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to see everyone's reactions for that. Uh, Ori, Will of the Wisps, that's a game that everyone's known has been has been in the works for a while. It releases this year. You can expect probably a further full gameplay trailer type thing. Uh, expect release dates and expect everything good with that. Then to rival Skull and Bones of Ubisoft, you have Sea of Thieves. You're going to have some more expansions coming. They're going to be announced because Sea of Thieves is now got its rival in Skull and Bones from Ubisoft. It's going to be interesting to see, uh, to see what they announce or how big the announcement is. Uh, I'm looking forward to to seeing that and seeing everyone's reaction to that. See if these never really my type of game, but I do know it's got a very dedicated fan base. Then you'll most likely have some community news uh, with Mixer, the live streaming platform, the rival to Twitch that Microsoft bought out. It used to be called Beam, and this has been in integrated into their consoles. This has been pushed by Microsoft more and more. So expect more convention exposure for them. Uh, maybe even like a full segment, which would be nice to see. Honestly, um, it's been it's been cool to see Mixer go forward leaps and bounds over the last couple of years. It's sort of forced Twitch to uh, to take on what they they're doing and and own the space a little bit more. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if Mixer get like a full segment in the conference. I imagine they'll have some form of a segment, whether it's like a full one, I'm not entirely sure. But it'll be interesting to see what they uh, get because I imagine there's going to be some form of announcement for Mixer during the Microsoft or Xbox conference, maybe even the team in with the, with the console or something like that. Uh, following that, you have Playground Games and their two big franchises, really. You've got uh, the new Forza game, most likely. There's always a new Forza game in the works. So expect news on a new Forza game, maybe a trailer, maybe a gameplay trailer. I wouldn't hold your breath on gameplay trailer, but there'll probably be a trailer uh, and a rough release date. So new Forza game, like I say, that even could be teamed in with the new console. Um, expect that. Uh, and then the rumor of Fable 4, and hopefully we get some news regarding that. I'm not entirely sure what we'll get, but they're working on the new Fable game, Fable 4, whether it's going to be called that or not. But the, the next Fable game and expect some form of news from that. I'm not entirely sure what, but there'll be something. Then you have a bunch of new rumors, uh, along with obviously the Fable 4, but I think that one's a little bit less of a rumor, more of a, I've got a sneaky hunch, you know? <laughs> so yeah, then we have all of the rumors. Uh, with yesterday's video, I was talking about the three or four AAA titles that are rumored to be announced with Ubisoft, and one of them possibly being Splinter Cell. So if they get announced, the Microsoft slash Xbox conference is after the Ubisoft conference, so I would expect uh, there to be some form of a further gameplay trailer or, or trailer of some sorts, like an, an exclusive trailer for Xbox or something like that. Um, Dino Crisis is another game that is uh, supposedly getting a reboot and is supposed to be at the Microsoft slash Xbox conference. Uh, on top of a new studio acquisition, which is supposed to be announced. What studio that is, I don't know. But if they're if they're teasing a a studio acquisition as one of the big things for the uh, for the conference, I expect it to be a big studio. Who knows who it could be? But it'll be interesting to see who they get. Then you have uh, the two sort of heavily mm, maybe happening, maybe not rumors, and that is Ninja Theory's new IP, Bleeding Edge, which I I'm honestly I'm not holding my breath for, but it may get uh, it may get some showtime during the conference. And then to top it off, Rare, the developers of Sea of Thieves, uh, Banjo-Kazooie and all of that, um, you have them supposedly showing a new IP, which will be interesting. I'm unsure if that's actually going to be shown this year. It seems like they might show that next year because a lot of focus of them is, is going on Sea of Thieves and there is supposedly some expansions to, to be announced. So they may talk about it, but if so, I wouldn't expect something too much. It will just be a very short teaser, most likely, if anything. So that's everything with the Microsoft slash Xbox conference. I'm looking forward to it with the likes of the new Xbox, the Xbox S or digital edition. You've got the X Cloud streaming service, um, Gears 5, Gears Tactics, Halo Infinite, Halo Master Chief Collection on PC, Battletoads, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, 
Sea of Thieves, most likely some Mixer news, uh, and then all of the rumours like Fable 4, the new Forza game, Dino Crisis, Splinter Cell, uh, Risen and Gothic, the new studio acquisition, Bleeding Edge, and Rare's new IP. It's, it's looking like a packed conference for Microsoft and Xbox, and hopefully it lives up to the hype. And hopefully they can smash it out of the park, especially when they don't have to worry about Sony and PlayStation this year. Because they're not attending like a bunch of scared people. <laughs> they're not. Uh, and I'll talk about that in the next video tomorrow. Make sure you join me for that one. Let me know what you think of all of the Xbox and Microsoft predictions in the comments down below. And if any of you guys do have any predictions of yourself, think I've missed anything, let me know and we'll talk about it. And thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care.